This is a video one. This is the Mackinac Podcast. I'm Victor, your host, and I'm here with Julian Miller of ChatFX. Julian, go ahead and tell us a little bit about ChatFX. Well, ChatFX is a special effects for iChat. And that means that what we do is allow you to do all kinds of special effects, like bubbles, for instance, virtual bubbles, uh, right in iChat. And what we find is it makes iChat a lot more interesting and a lot less intimidating for people uh, to be able to have a few uh, little specialties in there, like this, or like, like this that you've probably seen in, in photo booth. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> or even a little bit more dramatic, like this one. Wow. And so we make some of the special effects, and lots of other people are now making special effects. Um, you probably would help free to see what I'm doing. Um, this is an example of what it looks like. So at the bottom of the bi video preview window, you see this, this little uh, pane, and that's what ChatFX is. And then it has a drop-down menu, which allows you to choose among all sorts of different um, effects. Like this one's called Face Paint. And that other one that I just showed you was called Desktop, which shows you the desktop. You can also do the desktop in different ways. Like, you could have it as it shows. <laughs> so you can Look point and say, here's you. <laughs> <laughs> which can be very, very useful. Or you can put me in there as a floating little cube on the desktop. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so that is another possibility. There's all sorts of possibilities. We're finding that this is unlimited. This particular thing is the kind of a slideshow. And what it's doing is showing you uh, photos that are or art that's on every computer. But you can use it to switch to um, your folder of images of photos that you have. Like this is showing Hanalei. And I have it set to query the word Hanalei. So it finds pictures that have Hanalei in the title. So that's another one. Hey, and go back a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't, can't go back. Oh, Sorry. OK. Sorry, but we have uh, lots of other possibilities here. We have this one we call Cartoon. How much time do we have, by the way? Go ahead and take your time. OK. And then, of course, you have uh, this one, which allows you to kind of freak out your friends. Because if they don't know that you have something going on, then uh, you can kind of go, my video's fine. They'll be going, your video's really screwed up, man. What's going on? You go, nothing. It's, it's totally normal. And uh, so it's, it can be fun like that. There's Let me ask you, how many... Oh, there's the cube again. Let me ask you, how many third parties are, are contributing effects? Well, it's hard to know because a lot of them are... It's sort of ongoing, but I know that we've included probably about 10 or more people's items. I've done quite a few of the effects. Well, we've done chat effects allows you to link something mm, Quartz Composer effects with iChat. So in Quartz Composer, which is a developer tool, you can create these effects. And we believe anybody can do it. We believe that Quartz Composer is a lot easier to use than Apple Script or Automator. And a lot more people will use it. Um, this one's called Crystallize Me. Look and at you that. Can actually change the, the effects, um, you can change the amount of crystallization that's taking place. Um, oops, that one's called Alien. And you can change the settings and the color and a lot of the things that are taking place. Oops. Oh, let me see that one quite. Uh, let's try this one. So, blue screen which is a CGI computer-generated effect that people see in the movies all the time. But they're not used to doing it themselves. 
um, this allows you to do it. Like, for instance, I have behind me an old green bed sheet that I happen to have. So I have the blue screen set for this sheet. And so kids really like this because, of course, it allows them to do Harry Potter type effects where you disappear. And so it's kind of educational for kids. And you can change the sensitivity on it so that it includes more. Like you probably see there's kind of certain artifacts along here. Yes. That sort of thing can be, can be changed, and it depends upon the time of the day and, mm. and other things. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, maybe in the next one here. What kind of a computer is needed to do these kind of effects? Um, faster, newer computers are a good idea. <laughs> and um, one of the reasons is, let me see if I can change the setting on this thing here. Nine, let's do it. That yeah, makes it a little better. Um, the video graphics card is the big thing. If your video graphics card has more than 32 megs of RAM, it seems to operate pretty good. The more RAM, the better. For instance, right now I have 256 in this Intel iMac, and it seems to help it be a little bit more real time in operation. And that'll be the thing. It'll work. Like, for instance, we're just about to come out with a new version that's been, we've optimized it, so it's about twice the speed of the old version. The old version worked pretty good. So G5s, dual processors, Intel Macs, they all seem to work pretty good. And then we're trying to include more and more of the older Macs in this. Certain of the effects are also more uh, processor intensive. And so um, you can find movies anywhere. Like <coughs> this movie here is from archive.org. And it's an old movie, probably from back in the uh, 30s, something like that. But mm -hmm. I think it's kind of cute and interesting. And you can find things on YouTube, um, which can surprise your friends with. Because I, I was talking to a friend. We just had this running. We were talking about programming. And his mother came in the room, and, and she was watching for a while. And she goes, that girl's awfully quiet. <laughs> yeah. You know, also, I should tell you that the wind is blowing out, of, I, and so the sheet behind me is moving back and forth, which influences how well it works. Right. The light changes the color, and the color the keying light, matches yeah, off. Changes on, right. And um, so she was watching this, and after a while, she she says, "She's very, very quiet." And then he, she goes. Uh, and my friend wasn't saying anything. Uh, how does he get any work done there? You know, with all these things going on in the, in the back of his room. <laughs> 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 and uh, I'm not sure if he ever explained about blue screen, but again, it, it leads to all sorts of possibilities for people who are used to Hollywood type of CGI. Um, and uh, I won't go on with that one, but that's a really good video, actually. <laughs> I found it on YouTube. And uh, so you can have natural backgrounds and uh, all sorts of possibilities. It makes iChat just a little bit more interesting, and it makes it something that when you're talking to somebody, you know, video conferencing has never really taken off. And I suspect one of the reasons is that people find it a little bit intimidating. Mm -hmm. And especially, like, I would wake up in the morning and I'd think, ah, somebody would say, hey, let's video conference. I'd be like, no, <laughs> not this early. Because there's something about people looking at you early in the morning. And if you don't have to go through that, you don't want to. You want it to be, um, if you're going to do it, you want it to be interesting. You want it to be something which... Uh, emphasizes your message in some way. Right. So, um, my mouse here is a little sticky, but I, I'm going to show you a few other